Hello and welcome to the Sternly Wed Game, where Howard Stern tries to prove that he has a better relationship than anyone on his staff. And now, here's your host, the single and available, Robin Eubanks. Welcome to the Sternly Wed Game. Let's meet our contestants. Our first couple, secretly dating for the past 11 months, Stuttering John and production coordinator, Karen Harris. Yeah. Couple number two, married 14 years, Howard and Allison Stern. Reluctant couple number three, married 10 years, senior producer Dan Foreman and his wife, Robin. Couple number four, living in sin for five years, Fred Norris, King of Mars, and his lovely princess, Allison Furman. So, Howard, why are you up there? Aren't you the host of this show? Oh, Robin, obviously I am not the host tonight. Tonight I am here to prove that I, yes, me, Howard Stern, yes. I have the best relationship out of all of our staff. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, playing against us tonight are Stuttering Stupid John and Karen, who has fallen in love with John. Karen works on our show. Yeah, she works on the show. Karen, isn't it true you hid your relationship? That's true. You hid your relationship for 11 months from John? Are you embarrassed? No, I'm not. Aren't you embarrassed by John? No, I'm not embarrassed. You are not embarrassed. And why for 11 months did you deny going out with John? For many reasons. Um, yeah. Because this soap, I'm here right now. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> well, John, you, this is your dream girl, right? Yeah. You, you I, always I, 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 I've dug Karen since the since, since, since soap first started. Why do you, what is that? I've dug Karen since, 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 Karen, since the show first started. Karen, you, Damn it. you must be very proud right now. Can you believe she got him? All right. And by the way, I'll also be competing against our producer, senior producer, Dan Foreman. Dan, how'd you get abroad to like you? <laughs> That's right, Dan. And, you know, ironically, Robin, you're the horniest member of the show, and yet you are not I up here playing. I can't be up there. I can't believe it. But, Dan, this is your beautiful wife, Robin. Dan, how long have you been married? Ten years. Ten years. Do you think you know your wife better than I know my wife? No. Do you think you will win? <laughs> no. You do not think you'll I win? Think we will lose. Stuttering John, do you think that you and Karen, only knowing each other 11 months, do you think that you can win? Yes. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. You guys yeah. think you can? Yeah. I think we're you guys win. hardly know each other. Yeah, but, we, you know, we talk a lot. We... Uh, I see. Well, also, I must say tonight, Robin, yes. I'm honored to be playing against the King of Mars himself, <laughs> Fred Norris. <laughs> Allison and Fred, of course, were on our show. We gave Fred his bachelor party. Allison, what happened? After Fred's bachelor party, you guys called off your wedding. What happened? Yes. Um, I don't know. I got scared. No. Did you get scared or did Fred... I mean, we're all scared of Fred. That's true. <laughs> we right? can understand that. Yeah, we can understand you being scared of Fred. But uh, really, what happened? What went wrong? Nothing happened. Actually, we were never planning on getting Shut married. Up. So, oh. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> oh. What happened? Did his did his antenna go limp? <laughs> <laughs> Fred, what went wrong, really? What went wrong? I don't know. Can I speak? Yeah. Speak. Are Nothing you afraid to wrong. speak in front of Fred? Does Fred stop you from speaking? Um, sometimes. No. You guys met as a result of the Howard yes. Stern radio show. Yes. And it was going along. You guys have moved in together. Right. We had the bachelor party. You announced your engagement. You announced the fact that you would be married within the year. What happened? Nothing happened. We just, uh, we're going to do it when we're ready to do Are it. Are you afraid that maybe Fred is not the right choice for the rest of your life? No, he's the right choice. Then what happened? Why would you uh, reject I like, him? I like not being married. You do? Yeah. You think that someone better will come along, is that yeah, right? That's basically <laughs> it. No, not at all. Not I must say, our, our senior producer, Dan's wife, is very nervous. She's not spoken to anyone. <laughs> Robin, uh, do you She's think you know... She's just sitting there staring. <laughs> Robin, you feel somewhat competitive in this. Uh, is this um, silence to psych us all out in case we are uh, nervous? <laughs> Do you feel confident that you know Dan better than anyone? No. You do not? <laughs> do you feel confident that you'll win? No. No. All right. right. Well, Robin, well, no. I guess we'll just have to play the game. And Absolutely. Here's how the game is played. We'll be asking each of our couples questions, and if the spouses match, their answer will get them 10 points. In the bonus round, the correct answer is worth 30 points. The couple with the most points at the end of the game wins. We'll be, black, blah, blah, we'll be back to play the game hey, right after this. <laughs> to the Sternly Wet Game, once again your host, Robin Eubanks. Thank you, Fred. 
Yes. You know, I realized I didn't even talk to my own beautiful wife. Look at her, huh? Look at me. Watch what me. A... Look at me. You, know, you never get to see me on a weekly basis right. be romantic with any women because my wife won't allow it. That's Is that right? So now you can kiss and fondle all you want. She got so jealous when I was with Martha Quinn laying on the beach. Isn't that <laughs> right, honey? I didn't particularly care for it. Yeah, she didn't like it. Look at it. Mm, look at me. Look how romantic. Watch me be romantic. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I need more lipstick, though. Isn't that lovely? How, what a good marriage we have. Are you nervous? You forgot to talk to your wife at the very I beginning. I did forget to talk. And by the way, this is my wife's last appearance before her implants. She's going in. She denounced me to make me happy. I did not know that. Yeah, to make her breasts uh, much I... bigger from her A cup. She's going to go all the uh -huh. way up to a D. I'm not an A. You're a B? I'm a B. She's going to go up to a D. No, or, or, wherever she is, she's going up to a she's D. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> she's going to be my little Jugsy Mugsy. <laughs> but uh, my wife and no, I challenge my wife and I challenge any of the newlyweds here because we feel we know each other the best. All right, that depends, okay. Yeah. That depends how he answers. Hey, Stuttering well, John, you think you can beat me, huh? Again. By the way, I also want to announce Dan is also getting implants. <laughs> All right. Well, let's play the game, let's Howard. Play. For the first round, I'm going to ask all the ladies to leave the set. So long, ladies. Goodbye, ladies. Bye. 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 Look at John with a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Looks pretty good, too. All right, there you go. All right. Gentlemen. Hey, guys, now that the girls are gone, we can masturbate. Come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready for your first question? Yes. Gentlemen, how many times a week would you say you make whoopee? Stuttering John? Oh, we don't have an... Okay, uh... Uh, Matty, you don't understand the question? I thought maybe we had, like, a groupings, you know, 5 to 10, 10 to 20. Okay, I'll say... I just asked you the okay, question. Okay, I, I would say, uh... Robin, is this for on Earth or Mars? <laughs> Fred wants to know. Is it different? Yeah. <laughs> the way they count? Well, how many times a week do you bang Karen? Seven. Seven, Seven times a week, okay? Seven times a week. Howard, how I many times a week? I will say one time a week. One time a week. Dan, how many times a week I do you to... and your lovely bride make whoopee? Three. Three Ooh. times a week. And the king of Mars? Two. Two. All Two. right. Question number two, gentlemen. What two. sexual two. act... And that's his girlfriend, too. <laughs> when I had a girlfriend, at least, when Allison was my girlfriend, we'd do it five times a week. <laughs> but you're smart not to get married, King Okay, Mark. gentlemen. <laughs> what sexual act do you want to do, but your wife won't? Ah, oh, man, this is a tough one. Uh, I, I don't think I can say this. Can I say this? I don't know. What, cut your hair? <laughs> Say it. Uh, uh, Say it in a clean way. Yeah. All right, uh, anal sex. Oh! 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 <laughs> Shut up! I want to put um, a similar answer, Robin. My, uh, use, my, uh, use my hand, however. Use your hand? On, uh, with, uh, the, with the butt. Okay. And uh, Dan? John said anal, huh? Dan doesn't want to do anal sex. Yeah. I definitely don't want to do that. You know what's amazing? How's Dan going to win? Not only doesn't his wife know him, but Dan doesn't know Dan. <laughs> Dan doesn't know what he wants to do. Go Come ahead, on, Dan. Dan. You can do it. Uh, answer the question. From behind. L well, not in the behind. Not, not, okay. You've never had your wife from behind? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, we're learning a lot tonight, aren't we? All right. And, uh, hey, Dan, Fred. take off your glasses. Maybe then she'll let you do it from behind. Fred, what sexual act would you like to perform that Allison won't allow? Okay, I would say the third input. The third input, okay. Well, uh, you guys really want to do that? <laughs> well, uh, with you, Dan. Yeah. I don't really. Yeah, Question don't really number want. three, I gentlemen. I want to do it to you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Question, Question number three. How many sets of male genitals has your mate seen? Stuttering John? Uh, including mine? How many male genitals? Uh, three. Okay. Three Howard? Oh, boy. Uh, boy, you should see the slobs that she went out with. I'm not even sure they had genitals. My wife had some really... I mean, I'm no prize, but boy, my wife had some real winners. Uh, I'm going to have to say... Nine. Nine. Okay. Dan? How Five. many genitals? Five? Five. Fred? Four that I know about, but I'm going to say ten. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Well, we'll be right back to see if the gentlemen really know their ladies right after this. We are behind the scenes at the Howard Stern Show with another beautiful spokesmodel. This is Pamela. Pamela, wave hello to the crowd. 
I see here on your card, you went topless in New York City streets and used your breast to pass potato chips to the homeless. Is that true? Yes, I have. <laughs> you mean you put the potato chip between your breasts? Uh huh. And you and and that's how you feed the homeless? <laughs> they liked it. <laughs> Did they really? It's unusual. Why would you do something like that? I felt sorry for them, and I also wanted to give them a show. Right. How do you, what, how do you pass hot dogs? <laughs> It says here you do not you do not have implants that you get hormone injections. Yeah. What does that mean to make your breasts bigger? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I never heard of that before.